Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Mr. CryptoVet coming at you guys with a very, very, very huge update regarding CAT uh, and one that was highly anticipated in the CAT community uh, today that was done by Harry, the CEO from CAT. So I'm actually going to share some clippets of the actual meeting in case you missed it. Uh, and I'm going to be going over some of the new changes that are happening with the new smart contract that's going to be released here within the next week or so. Um, before I hop into it, I just want to remind you guys that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I am not your financial advisor. This is just for education and entertainment purposes only. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell notification to be notified each and every time that I drop some new content on the channel. All right, so without further ado, uh, the first thing I want to do is drop a insert of uh, Harry's initial message and what he thought was the most important thing uh, to discuss on uh, regarding this meeting that we just had today. So listen in. Um, first and foremost, I just wanted to I, I wanted to say that we are working internally just as we always have been and as um, people seem to be confused about this um the company the company has been generating money just like we always have been generating money in the past few days and we're continuing to generate money throughout this two-week period so if there are people who are hesitant in regards to what, what's going on with their profits again i want to make this very very clear that as soon as we're back up and running with our finance department you are going to be able to withdraw the profits that we've generated in this period of time so you've really got nothing to worry about to that end. And more importantly still, this is probably the last few, this is the last few moments that the old, um, the old percentages are going to be live on the website fully. And I'll dive into the new ones in just a bit, but um, just treat this as sort of your last opportunity to really flourish with the old percentages that we've got on the platform. All right, so I mean, if you guys couldn't tell like, he, I, I took a whole page of notes, by the way, just, I want to, I was super, super excited. Um, I took, a, I took all these notes in case uh, my recording didn't come through, but um, I did record the whole meeting. I'm not going to, I'm not going to drop the whole entire recording here. There will be a follow-up meeting this Thursday on zoom. So if you didn't, or if you weren't able to attend today, make sure you guys try and attend Thursday, but I'm going to hop into uh, some of the important things that I got out of the meeting. Number one, I have so much confidence in the CEO, even though he wears a cat mask on his head, um, walking around like you can, there's something about hearing confidence um, in somebody's voice. There's something about hearing confidence, but I'm not necessarily hearing um, confidence per se. I'm hearing someone that's shy, someone that's giddy, someone that's very, very excited about this project and that wants to share this project with the whole entire world. And that was uh, his closing message is that, um, you know, he he was so, so giddy that he has 600 people on this Zoom. Um, and he said that he thought he would never be in front of that many people. He said he had plenty of money before this. Uh, he traveled the world, but he never thought he'd be in front of a, of a stage that large. Um, and you could tell that that like, came from the heart. So um, I, I appreciated his message there. You could definitely tell that this was not a recording of a message or anything like that. This was 100% live. He was there. He had his team members there. Um, it wasn't 100% organized in the very beginning. We did have some intermittent going in and out. Um, the audio and, and the screen share wasn't working 100%. In another project, if that would have happened, they might have canceled the meeting altogether and it would have caused and created more FUD in the community, but they worked through all their technical issues and they got it up and running and they were able to uh, share successfully on their screen. So, uh, hey, I'm full, I'm full bull on this project. So there were three main slides in this overview and I'm going to share what those three slides are. All right, so here's the first one. Um, we have live triangular crypto arbitrage trades on the CAT platform, right? So this is basically an overview of you know what CAT is, uh, what their goals are. As you can see down here, CAT um, explore each operation in greater detail. This is what's going to be coming out after the release of the new smart contract. So uh, from a meeting that we had with Louisa in the past, this was mentioned, but here we have it clear cut. Uh, cat community profits, volume used, trades made during the arbitrage window, and partner exchanges. So there's going to be a live dashboard on the new smart contract where you'll be in your, you know, on your device where you can see 
exactly what's happening on a, on a daily basis. So you can see over here on the bottom left, watch in real time as our traders um, bring the cat community their daily rewards. So uh, this was super good to see. Um, the other two slides have a lot more detailed information on them. So I'm going to share those right now. So I know this one was highly anticipated. Uh, this is the current cap bonus structure right now. So on your first level of a referral, you're earning 12% on that individual's daily reward. On the second level, you're earning 8% and so on and so on and so on. Um, with the new reduction in the actual ROI, which I'm going to get into. So hold your horses. But uh, this is the new cap bonus 2.0. So we're going from 12% to 10% on level one. And at the end of the day, that's really the main one. That's the main focus. So it didn't um, really decrease significantly. 2%, um, no big deal, right? Um, at the end of the day, Harry came on and he was describing how this is a community. He wants this to be a community focused uh, project. He doesn't necessarily enjoy that people go out there and, and they just throw their links and say here sign up and i've mentioned this myself in the past here how it's very important that you know who your sponsor is so they can help you get started with these projects i think customer service is absolutely huge and being able to help someone because at the end of the day that's what creates fud if you're just throwing a link out there and you're not helping your people um and they have no one to go and get answers from, then people panic, people worry, things like that. So, you know, level one, level two, level three, uh, those are the most important. And, and that's something specifically on the call that Harry mentioned. But he did mention that he wants this to be a community driven project and he wants it to be very top heavy, top heavy. Um, and he said that over and over again. He wants it to be community driven and top heavy. So, all right this was probably the most highly anticipated slide of the entire meeting and uh without a shadow of a doubt they were able to share this information and another thing he mentioned is that this is set in stone there's not going to be any changing between now and when the new smart contract is released um, these numbers are a set figure so you don't have to worry about that fluctuating so anything that any kind of information that you've heard in the past as of anything before 12 noon Eastern time today, you could throw it out the window because it's going to be false information. What you see here in front of you is accurate as it's going to get. All right. So the main thing is you're going to be getting 1.2% per day ROI on your BMB um, that you have in the smart contract. All right. So that's from anyone that has a zero 0 0.1 BMB uh, going. As you can see, it advances at the 5 BMB level to 1.5% daily. All right. So um, this is where a lot of people are going to fall in the range. He was saying that their average deposit right now currently is 6 BMB. All right, which is about two grand. He said anywhere from three to six BMB, but six BMB um, on the closer side of the scale. So most people, not everyone, but most people are going to fall in this 1.5% uh, target range right here. That might motivate some more people to put some, some more BNB into this project, especially after today's meeting, which was super bullish. Um, or, or not, you may just sit with where you are and be happy. Remember, remember, what's my number one thing I say? Don't invest anything you can't afford to lose in any of these projects, all right? The next level is going to be 1.8%. Uh, from anyone that deposits 30 BMB or more. The next level is going to be the 2.2% level, anyone that has 80 BMB deposited or more. Um, and then lastly, it's going to be 2.7% uh, ROI daily for anyone that has 240 BMB or more deposited into the platform. So what's the major difference between the old smart contract and the new smart contract? Um, as you can see here, the old smart contract only had four levels versus the new smart contract has five levels. And Harry said they wanted to make it a whole lot easier. And, and um, you know, sustainability is the number one thing for the platform. Right. But he didn't want and he said this specifically uh, people to put their whole entire funds uh, just to try and jump from one level to the next. He said that this was an oversight on their part right here. Uh, you could see the huge gap from 2 BNB to 30 BNB, which is more than 10 times uh, of a gap here. And you see that that is not the same for this case here. Granted, it is a, a big jump from 5 BNB to 30 BNB, 
no one's going to be trying to pull together the, the difference of 25 BNB for a point, point three percent additional profit. So if you only have 10 BNB, you're going to let that 10 BNB ride and not uh, try and like pull your, your funds together with other people just to get to the next percentage. Because I mean, 0.3%, it will add up over time, but um, it's not a huge, huge jump uh, of a percentage as you see here of 1% differential. Uh, same thing for these other percentages. Yes, 30 BNB and 80 BNB is a huge uh, jump in price, but it's only 0.4% difference in uh, daily rewards. And uh, you see the cap here at 2.7% daily rewards for the folks who have 240 BNB or more. So there's not going to be a whole, whole lot of people who come in with 240 BNB. Um, get my handy dandy calculator right here and see how much that is. I think BNB is around 308 bucks right now. And if you were to buy 240 of those, you'd have to be dropping 73,920 uh, bucks US uh, to be able to get in at that at that percentage level. So it's not going to be worth, you're not going to like go and get a loan from the bank, which you absolutely should not do to get the 2.7% rewards versus if you could just get started here with the 5 BNB, which is a whole lot more um, attainable for the 1.5%. So I think that's a huge, um, very, very good thing that they're doing on their part with the, with the new smart contract. These are some of the issues that they had with the old smart contract that you can, you know, feel free to read for yourself. But with the new smart contract, these updates are are being implemented. And um, one of the main things here is, you know, balance and profit updates will be faster and issues should happen, should not happen or they should happen less often. Um, automatic wallet verification. I know this was a big deal. Uh, so this is going to be done in partnership with the exchanges, ensuring that cap funds stay in the arbitrage cycle and that they don't get paused with what just happened with the whole bits lotto thing. So um, they don't want that to be an issue moving forward. So um, that's the main thing here on this slide. And like I said, this these numbers are set in stone, so you don't have to worry about that changing. Now, the next main thing is that he mentioned this should be the, the last update to happen for a good while. So uh, we're going to let it ride. I know right now people currently aren't able to withdraw with all the updates that are being uh, done behind the scene. But if you guys just stay patient within another week or so, uh, all that should be lifted. And he did reassure the community that you will be able to withdraw your funds that you have sitting that have been accumulated, all your rewards. So you don't have to worry about you not having access to those. Um, I know a lot of people are compounding right now. Me personally, I'm letting my rewards accumulate and I'm going to do a withdrawal. By the time this two weeks is up, I'll be way uh, past the point of uh, me getting what I put into the platform out. So um, I'm just waiting for that withdrawal to happen. Um, you know, but he said that, that there won't be an issue with that. Thursday, there's going to be another uh, financial meeting where there will be Q&A. So someone might drop a liquidity question in there. I'm not 100% certain. No one else is 100% certain. But that's the feeling that I got from uh, what he mentioned. And, and I resonated with that today. The last thing that I want to mention, the last thing that I want to mention is that he did mention that um, it's not highly encouraged that we continue doing the presentations um, like with Louisa that they offer weekly. Um, and even with our own folks, because he said that what we portray out to, to people, he wants that to be 100% working as we onboard new folks. Uh, but on the flip side of that token, this is going to be the very last opportunity that somebody has to capitalize on the percentages that we currently have. You'll never, ever, ever be able to get these percentages again uh, moving forward. So you take that for what you want. Uh, me personally, I'm not saying that, hey, you have to get in right now to capitalize on, on uh, you know, these ROI percentages that we currently have available to us for the next week or so. Uh, but just know that the platform is going to look completely different in the in the next coming week or so. And it may be a better time for you to invite your new prospect um, and, and have them get started with the platform. So it's completely up to you how you take that. I just want to share the message what Harry himself said. And um, I'm just really looking forward to the meeting that we have on Thursday with him, um, possibly get some questions out there and, and just see what other questions the community has. 
Um, but aside from that, I'm super bullish on this project. And uh, I can't wait to see what the new platform looks like. It's been a very, very, very long time since I have felt so much certainty with the platform and just resonated with the CEO so much. Even though we can't see his face, uh, I totally understand why. And, you know, hey, that's okay for me. If it's not okay for you, hey, I completely understand. But um, I'm over the moon, happy for this project. I can't wait to see where it takes us uh, in a year's time. And um, that's all I have for today. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And hit that bell notification so you get updated when I drop the update for Thursday on this project after that meeting. And uh, until then, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.